Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look at the love predictions for you for the next three to six months. These are going to be general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So let's give the cards a shuffle here and see what are the love predictions for you. For the next three to six months from the time of this reading. Okay, the Queen of Cups here. Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, Bull, Justice, and Eight of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups here. You've got an energy around you who I feel like has very strong romantic feelings for you. This is someone who... This person could be falling in love with you or this is someone who cares very deeply for you. I feel like this person has a hard time expressing his or her emotions. But it's important that you know that there is someone here who's developing very strong feelings for you. This is a very shy demeanor, shy energy. So I feel like this person either holds back or this person is um, very like emotionally guarded so um, you may have um, intuitive feelings about them you may also get dreams about them here this is someone who I feel like you're closely connected to on a very emotional level um, yeah someone who I feel like is keeping to themselves though this is someone who I, has a very strong um, this person feels like a very strong emotional support system. But again, they feel very... Um, he or she here is... Either you're already in a relationship or this person feels... Um, this is someone who has emotional barriers and they can't come forward here. Or they're quite shy here. But it's important that you know this person has, um, has some very strong romantic feelings or even is falling in love with you, sees themselves falling in love with you here. The Queen of Cups, she's also very intuitive here and, um, you know, she's very in touch with her emotions here. Um, the other message that I'm getting for you here with her energy um, is you might experience some very strong intuition here um, throughout the next three to six months about a situation or about a person here. Listen to your intuition here. I'm also seeing that there's an energy around you, and I, um, it could be this energy I spoke about, but this person feels very supportive of you here. Some of you, because the Queen of Cups, she can also be a little bit clingy here, make sure you draw boundaries here. For someone who could become a little bit too clingy or too dependent on you, so make sure you draw boundaries for this person. Now with the Page of Wands, I feel like there's an exciting new romantic uh, prospect coming in towards you here, um, a fellow fire energy, so an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, could, or it could be a new romantic prospect here. This feels like, ex um, it feels very exciting, it feels like a very adventurous romantic um, situation here. It feels like a younger energy or this person has um, a lot of youthful energy or they, look, they may act or look younger than they actually are. Um, this is, and you're really excited. For some of you, look, it maybe it's it's already a connecting energy, but I am seeing that you're finally going out on a date, or you're looking forward towards meeting this person. Um, there's an excitement in the air here, um, and some of you, I feel like this person is very adventurous. So you're going to be exploring like new realms when you're um, with this energy here. Um, you could also be meeting someone who embodies like the page of ones in your life here. Um, some of you, I feel like within the next three to six months, you're going to enter into a relationship. But let me tell you, I don't think it's going to go the distance, but it is going to be very exciting, very adventurous. It may be a casual arrangement um, or it may be a relationship that unfortunately just doesn't last very long. But I do think it's going to be, um, as I've mentioned, very lively, exciting here. Um, it, the reason why it doesn't last, I feel like this person has an inability to create long-term relationships here or it's just a fleeting romance okay it's just a brief free free um brief fleeting romance here 
some of you are exploring new adventures here. I'm seeing new adventures being explored, new realms, new relationships, new, new romantic adventures here. For those of you that are in a relationship with someone, um, with someone here, with the connecting energy, you'll be exploring new things. You'll be more than willing to try new things, or your romantic partner is willing to try new things here with you. So the Four of Cups here. Oh, okay. Um, someone around you here, I feel like maybe losing interest. Or maybe it's your energy and you may be losing interest in a situation. Someone here, I feel like, is not as responsive as they once were. Um, now, it could be that this person has um, other options around them. They have other choices. Or it could be that this person currently has other things going on. But you'll find that there is someone here. Communication between you and this person starts to dwindle. It's very likely that maybe this this could be in relation to this brief fleet. Uh, fleet. Oh struggling brief fleeting romance okay that's been indicated for you in the cards um you know maybe it starts off um exciting and adventurous um and then maybe it's something that you get bored of um quite quickly perhaps but you'll find that there is um some sort of disconnection that happens between you and a connecting energy connecting romantic energy here the four of cups as well as a reminder to not take things for granted okay because I feel like maybe there's um, a situation. I feel like you're looking for something or someone. And I feel like this person is, is almost right under your um, nose. So do not take something for granted. Because I feel like it's... Or something that you're looking for is actually closer than you think. Um, the Four of Cups could also be about self-evaluation. So, um, so some of you I feel like... Um, you need to pull away here to do some self-evaluating or you need to release yourself out of some mental stubbornness here opportunities come to you here they, you could have new romantic interests or admirers that come to you but some of you i feel like you're not seeing them or you just can't be bothered you just can't be bothered maybe you're just over and you're not willing to entertain this uh, it's just like this kind of this energy where you're, you're not bothered It could also be that an excitement here is fizz like romance and excitement is fizzling out with regards to a relationship. Um, it's fading, and if you feel you're becoming you're becoming to feel more like roommates than lovers. Now the nine of wands, I'm seeing that some of you it's an overwhelmed kind of energy with the nine of wands. Um, your energy here, um, and I feel like some of you are. Some of you have your suspicions about a situation. Trust your intuition if you do, okay? Um, some of you, I feel like um, you've got your suspicions here um, with regards with regards to a romantic connection. So you, you may feel like this person is being dishonest with you or mistrusting or they're not telling you the truth or you feel like there's something there. Trust their intuition because it's coming from a place of, um, you know, it's not for nothing. It's trying to communicate something to you here. Um, some of you are also going to be facing some challenges here when it comes to relationships here. Um, or it could indicate that a relationship here is going to feel um, like it needs a lot more work than you initially thought. It could also be some sacrifice here that's being needed. Um, I'm seeing that um, communic an adjustment here, sacrifice or communication is going to be absolutely crucial in order for you to improve a romantic connection here. Some of you, I feel like you're you're ready to take. You're scared, but you're you're ready, but you're scared to take a step forward when it comes to relationships. So whether you're you're ready to put, you know, you're scared to put yourself out there, but you're ready. Okay, don't let the fee of um, you know, the fee weigh you down or the fee hold you back because you're ready. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? You can have your heart broken. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, there's a sense of readiness. So some of you are ready to put yourself out there, meet new people. Some of you are ready to put yourself out there and, um, you know, enter into relationships or take your relationship to the next level. Um, or you're ready to propose or you're ready to your partner to suggest that you move in together or you're ready to let someone go. You're scared, but you're ready. This is the scared kind of energy or it's an overwhelmed kind of energy, but you're ready for it. With the justice card, I feel like there's a situation here that's being restored, a balance that's being restored. Something he comes back together. I'm seeing that the scales are uh, balanced equally. So some of you, I feel like um, a situation improves here, especially romantically, okay? Um, a relationship, a connection here um, is finally improve, um, improving here. 
It's also comic justice with the tarot card here. <clears throat> Excuse me, comic justice here comes around. This is fairness, truth, um, balance, equilibrium. Now, justice is just about as much as about karma as it is about justice, right? Um, some of you have been putting a lot of effort and love into a relationship, and I feel like it, it's it's coming. Karma is coming back your way. So, if you've been kind, loving, and supportive here, your relationship is going to become like a mirror. Okay, that person is going to give back what you've been giving to this person. Um, for those of you that have been single, and if you've been in a loving disposition here, I feel like there's someone you're attracting. Um, someone especially attractive here, um, like someone very loving, someone very um, wonderful here. So you essentially you're getting, I'm seeing that this card is about, for you, well in general it's about the law of cause and effect. And you're getting back what you put in. Also make sure you handle any issues here when it comes to relationships, any issues with honesty and integrity. Okay, it's important because you know we did speak about you're getting what you put back in, what you put in, right? So if you lie, you're going to get back lies. Um, if you're truthful, that's going to be reflected to you like a mirror, okay? So handle situations. It's important for you to handle something with honesty and integrity. Why? Because the person will respond in the same way or the situation the universe will respond back to you. Okay, we'll hold up a mirror to you here. The Eight of Cups here indicates that there are closures here, this um, being indicated for you within the three, uh, within the next three to six months. So some of you are walking away from a failed relationship or you're finally letting go of someone. Um, so for others of you, I feel like you're not, you're still holding on to someone or something that I feel like has, you know, lost interest or is trying to walk away from you. Um, don't, if anyone wants to walk, don't hold them back. Don't try and convince them to stay. Okay, in fact, show them the door, open up the door, um, let them go. Because I feel like this person um, is not meant for you, this relationship is not meant for you. And I also feel like um, the two of you are meant to um, tread down different paths. Okay, this person isn't going where the universe wants to take you. Okay, this person isn't going that way. So some of you, I feel like you're moving on from someone, but that's because you outgrew them. I'm also seeing closure. So someone might come back into the picture and give you closure about a situation, or you yourself are finally going to put closure towards something here. Some of you are in a relationship, and you know what? It's not working. Um, it's not working. You outgrew this connection, and I feel like you're the one that's moving on. You're the one that's going in search for what's on the other side of the mountain. Because what's on this side of the mountain isn't emotionally fulfilling enough. Okay, these are your messages, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.